If you're looking for a smart robot vacuum with advanced features that doesn't break the bank, so it will not burn your wallet, then you need to add this robot vacuum on your list. This is by Shellbot. And the sensors you see all around, it actually is very advanced as it does have multiple different LiDAR sensors. Software is also very impressive because it does have integrated AI capabilities for recognizing objects. So if you have pets or something like that and they drop landmines, it's not gonna smear it all over. It has a very powerful 4,000 PA suction that is indeed adjustable up to four levels. So it really does get those deep cleans and will especially continue to get more deep cleans, especially since it's a smart robot. It could do the same passes multiple times and it will definitely clean up your carpet from any dust and other debris you may have deep inside. And all of this is just literally for $450. When you compare this against other big brands like iRobot S9, which I actually do own, it's literally double that amount and it's almost as capable. And if you act now, I was just looking online on their website right now on their Amazon store page, can be owned for $100 off as there's this promo code going on. I'll have that link in the description, of course. So this robot can be owned for just $350 and yeah, once more, it has LiDAR sensors. So it has some really unique features. So just like my expensive iRobot vacuum, this can support multiple floors. Well, the robot will actually go into map mode and scan all the rooms. And once everything is complete, you could select individual rooms for a robot to go in and vacuum. And if you like to barricade some of those walls, make them into no crossing zones or do not enter zones, you have the freedom to do that on the app. And it also has some impressive features because unlike other generic robot vacuums, this one actually talks and has some, uh, some spooky features such as in case you lose the robot, you can actually use the find my feature where the robot will actually say this. A bit creepy, but it's definitely useful because it sounds like an actual human. It's just telling you to find them. And then every time the robot begins its task, it's always gonna be talking, but this feature can be disabled. But it's nice to know that you can actually hear the robot instead of making weird beepy noises like sometimes a complaint I have with my personal S9 iRobot vacuum. I can't tell if it's about to clean or it's having error issues. This one I can at least verbally hear it. And yes, it does support different languages as well. Once more, my iRobot Vacuum doesn't have that. If you'd like to know more about it, I guess I might as well pitch this in. You go ahead and click on that video over there as I actually did do a review, dedicated review for my S9 iRobot Vacuum in case you're curious. But for literally half the cost of that robot, this thing has a lot of impressive technology integrated in it. Because you can actually see live footage of the stats of the robot and seeing like this little dot, you can literally see where it's at in the room of its current stats. It will continue updating it in live time. And if you're curious about how it performs over large snacks like M&Ms and such, it does a good job. It will definitely suck it out. Although I have noticed with the crummy bits, it does tend to crunch things and leave little debris in the back, but it will go back and do a second pass to make sure it picked up everything. So it does a good job in terms of picking up heavy objects. Now this is a single brush vacuum, not a dual brush, but still does a fantastic job even with a single brush. And yes, it is indeed replaceable and they did indeed provide different parts to replace whenever some of those brushes and filters need to be replaced over normal wear and tear, of course. Now that LiDAR sensor though, with the AI recognition, it actually does a great job. This robot rarely gets stuck. Once in a while it will get stuck if there's like something that just get caught up in the wheel, like a string or something like that. But that's primarily the user fault for not picking that up in the first place, me. But in terms of like crashing into like your couch and stuff like that, like a clueless vacuum, this does a good job. Although I have noticed with the LiDAR sensor, the robot does ha hesitate and gain too close to the side of the walls. So it relies on the brush. So it uses the brush to actually get those uh, dust bunnies out of the edges. So it doesn't clean as well compared to some other robots that actually like rub against the wall. But I guess the pro would be to that is that it won't leave like little marks on the side of your wall right here. Like other robots that just technically just bump into it. So I guess there's a pro and con to that. But if you're just using hardwood, just sweep with a broom once in a while. But it just solely relies on its external brush, spin brushes to get the edge part of the wall. And in terms of its off-road capabilities, I did notice that this robot does build momentum to go over like these little dividers or even rugs and stuff. 
So it's smart enough to do that. So I thought that was kind of funny that it actually does like build up speed to go over a certain bump and then slows down again. Now in terms of sound, it's not really that loud compared to my S9. Once more, that video's right there in the corner if you want to go ahead and check out that right video review. But a common complaint I had was that one is that it's ridiculously loud. This one, it's okay. Here's a little sound footage of how it sounds like in level four maximum suction. Now the third party app that you need to download to really utilize its features, if you're not really tech savvy, you're gonna be somewhat lost. I just wish they simplified the UI a bit more so grandma and grandpa could easily operate. That's just a little th uh, opinion of mine. I think the UI could be a little bit more simplified, but regardless, it does come with a dedicated controller, which you could use to fully operate it this way as well. And it does have up and down arrows to manually override the robot in case it does get jammed or you just want to cover a certain spot, kind of like a uh, vacuum RC car. Now other smart features that it does have, it does have the automatic charge, self-charge feature, where if it's still not done completing a certain task, it will simply dock itself back into its charging station, charge for however long it needs to, to resume the task. So it has that feature. And if you like to know the dimensions exactly, it's just a little bit taller than your typical robot vacuum, thanks to that LiDAR sensor on top. So it may not easily clear everything underneath like your couch and stuff like that or bed. But if you like to know the dimensions, basically 13.78 inches in diameter and it's almost about four inches tall, 3.72 to be exact. So depending on your furniture, you may find it difficult for this thing to go in, un, into under the hard to reach areas. Aside from that, there is a map attachment that it comes with included with. I didn't really test this out due to the fact that my hardwood floors is actually real hardwood. So because of that, it takes like a special solution or also harm it. So I wasn't able to do that. I did try it on tile and to the most part, it was working fine, but I still would personally prefer mopping manually because it's gonna take several passes to clean some tiles really good. Aside from that, there you guys have it. Yeah, it's uh, not a bad looking robot either. I like the color scheme. Again, the app could be a little bit more simplified, but to the most part, for the average user who's good with cell phones and such, there shouldn't be any issues finding a setting that you like to tweak and stuff like that. This robot is technically fully customizable to its user. And selecting rooms, I think it's really impressive for a robot of this price, especially since it has more sensors than a modern vehicle still. It's really impressive how technology advanced so much that now a smart robot vacuum has these smart integrations. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment down in the comment section what's your opinion about this robot vacuum. If you have a suggestion for a robot vacuum to check out, you wish me to get my hands on and make a comparison video. Maybe I can make like a budget version, smart robot vacuums that won't ignite your wallet on fire. Aside from that, if you'd like to watch more, check out this video over here. That is the video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. And in case you wanna watch that iRobot vacuum video once more, you can also click on it right over here. Aside from that, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.